Creating a style guide in Webflow gives you a central source of truth for all of the classes that you're using across your website. It means you can scale your website whilst keeping things consistent as you grow. It also means that if a new developer jumps in your project, it's going to be much quicker for them to get up to speed on how the system is set up inside of your project. Today we're going to create a style guide and then see how we can set and maintain our styles as our website grows. Now rather than show you how to create a style guide page, I've created a style guide starter that you can duplicate from the Webflow Showcase. Now you can use this in two ways. You can either start a new website on this template by simply adding in a new page, or you can copy the body element of the style guide and paste it into your project on a new style guide page. In this case, we'll create a new page and call it style guide. And here we can paste in the style guide body. So already the style guide is set up to show us classes used for typography, rich text, colors, buttons, and any layouts that we might use. The only thing left to do is to adjust the style guide to fit our brand and website. So we can already see that the text is changed accordingly to fit the website. So the things left to update is the logo, the colors, and the classes used throughout so that it matches our website. We'll start by updating the logo. And we'll scroll down to the colors section and also update those blocks. And through the magic of television, that's now done. We'll now do the same to our buttons and typography, but since we've already used buttons throughout the website, we're not going to update the colors of them, we're just going to update the classes. So I'm going to go through and delete the classes and add in the classes that we've actually used throughout the website already. And now we'll go up and do the same for the typography. Keep in mind that if you don't have a good typography system, you might want to use the class system that's inside the style guide. But since we already have headings set up, we're going to go through and update the classes to the system that we're already using. And so now that's updated too. The only other thing we might want to do is delete any sections that we don't need in our style guide for our website. So maybe you might not be using icons throughout the website. Let's go ahead and delete that section. Maybe you also don't use spaces. Let's delete that section too. Now let's say we want to add a section. For example, we have a bunch of different sliders throughout the website and we want to keep those in the style guide. We can create a new section by simply copying a tab from the side, renaming it, adding in a new section at the bottom, and then linking it up to the sidebar. We can give the section the idea of sliders, and then make sure the tab is linking down to that section. Now that we've done that, we can go through and fix up any last classes or colors to make sure that it matches our website. So there you have it. Your website now has a style guide set up that you can come back to at any time and change the classes when you need to.